Hey guys, welcome back to Driven to Compete channel. Well, you know, I'm sure that uh, you're probably at home going stir crazy just like we are here in central Pennsylvania with this whole COVID-19 thing. I just want to let you know that you're not alone and uh, I'm working hard here to try to put together some cool videos to uh, entertain you while you're homebound these days. And today's video, um, I've got some cars behind me and uh, we're, we're going to play a little bit here and hopefully I get some good video. And uh, so what we're shooting here is we've got my Golf R, as you uh, have probably already seen. We have a 335i, and we have a Mark 6 GTI with the APR Stage 2 package. So um, we're going to do a little play, and uh, we'll see what you guys think afterwards. Roll race, he does not want to run from a stop or almost a stop, so we're gonna play here. Um, This is this really isn't. Um, hold, hold on a second here. He wants to do it again. All right. I'm just trying to. All right. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making the video. Um, you know, it's, it's a trying time in our country and throughout the world, actually, with this whole COVID-19 thing and uh, social distancing, staying at home, staying safe. So um, hopefully, if you're watching this, you're at home and you're safe and your family's safe. And I just want you to know you're in my thoughts and uh, hopefully I'm in yours as well. Um, a little bit more about the video. Um, on the way home, I did get a phone call from the BMW owner. Uh, first and foremost, neither one of these guys wanted to be on camera uh, due to work situations. That was fine with me. Um, the BMW owner wasn't for, very forthcoming. We were texting back and forth all week. The race was on, then we, it was off, then we were going to meet up, then we weren't. You know, long story short, it's a 335i. It's a 3 liter uh, inline 6 with twin turbos. It has uh, turbo upgrades done to it. It's been tuned. It's had work done to it down in Baltimore at a tuning shop down there that's famous for BMW stuff. He tells me he's maxed out on fuel right now. Uh, he has to spend some money to go uh, a little further um, to make more power. 
Said he was on E50 earlier in the week. Ted told me today he was on 93. So I'm not sure what the power numbers were. He told me he was in the low 11s. According to the tuner, he should be in the low 11s if he's able to hook up the track. That's much quicker than what I've seen Golf R's with a Stage 2 package running on uh, YouTube. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what that car is making, but I, I was very surprised at how close we were in uh, from a roll. I, I was worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I haven't driven the car much. Uh, since we did the stage two package, I think I put a video on where I was playing with a Hellcat uh, previously, and uh, but that was it. So um, I know roll racing is not where this car shines. It really shines from a dig with all the features that uh, Volkswagen has given the uh, R from launch control and on all that. So um, in the video, the first run I did where I left the uh, DSG do all the shifting so all I did was put the foot down when uh, he blew the horn and, and I, I feel like he got the hit on me I got the jump on me because he was blowing the horn um, but uh, and then there was a delay in the car uh, dropping from uh, say whatever gear it was in I think it was in like fifth at the time it dropped down to third and uh, but no you know they're not excuses I'm just trying to give you an, uh, an idea of what the car did so when we ran the second time, I thought, well, what the heck? I was in race mode both times. Um, I decided to try paddle shifting it myself. And we did run from a slower um, starting point uh, on the, the second run. I think it was like 19, 20 mile an hour, some of that ballpark. And uh, I had, uh, I think we started off, I started off in second. He said he started off in first. He had a manual transmission car. So uh, we went and um, I was very surprised at the jump now he he tells me he was fighting traction issues um 55 degrees out today it is sunny um but still he said he was fighting some traction issues due to the cold temps so um i don't know i would like to i'm not going to kid you i'd love to play with him at the quarter mile track because i i know i'd own that car um out of the hole but i'm sure if he's that quick in the quarter um that he's coming around me on the top end i'm sure of that but uh, it would be interesting to see. As for the Mark VI, the um, GTI, the owner was up front with me. He popped the hood right off the start. And uh, he told me I have all APR components on it. It had a downpipe. It had an exhaust on it. had their cold air intake system on, on the car. And it had a Stage 2 APR tune in it. Um, running the stock clutch, I believe, through a manual transmission. Um, but... Uh, he, he was up front with me as well. He's like, there's no way I can hang with, with you um, from like, you know, 20 or 40 mile an hour roll. But if you let me do a hit from like, say, 55, 60, he's like, you might be surprised. So that's what we did. And I did let him have the hit um, when we raced because I know he was underpowered in comparison. And uh, the outcome, I was very, actually, I was very surprised that the Mark VI hung through a gear, through the first, whatever the gear was that the trainee uh, put itself in on the R. So say we, we left, uh, say the R was in fourth gear. I was very surprised at how well that Mark VI hung with me till, till the uh, car made boost and it shifted. And, and then from there it was, you know, a different outcome, which I expected. I just didn't expect the Mark VI to be there for the, uh, at the hit initially. So uh, kudos to, to him for hanging in there. We, I think we did two different hits, one from like 55, 16, and one from like 65. But, um, you know, overall, fun day. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as I've been saying all along, this is meant for entertainment. Um, you know, I'm trying to grow the channel, yes, but I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it and I want to share my love of cars. And, uh, you know, I also want to give you something to watch while you're stuck at home. Because let me tell you, that's what I've been doing. While I've been home, I've been watching, um, you know, I, I think I went through Netflix first, and then I started, now I'm on YouTube, I'm like watching everything. So, um, I hopefully you're enjoying my videos. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can stay up to date on all the videos. And if you like my content, please share it with your friends, tell them about it. Uh, you know, I really want to grow the channel, and I can't do it without your, your help and your support. Um, as for upcoming videos, uh, I'm going to be throwing some Mustang stuff in there because it's been all Euro here lately. Um, so 
uh, you know, if you see some content that doesn't interest you in the near future, you know, all I would say to you is just be patient. There's going to be more stuff coming up. And, uh, you know, as we get through this, and I, I expect that once they give us the green light to go back to work and to stop this um, social distancing thing, the car scene in central Pennsylvania is going to blow up. I expect it to. I'm, I'm anticipating it. That's why I wanted to get the Golf R ready for the car show season. And I'm working on my Mustang right now. So uh, hopefully uh, both cars will be in upcoming car, uh, car videos all summer long. All right, got all that out. I appreciate you letting me talk. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to say one last thing to you. Stay safe. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, until next time, driven to compete, watch, like, subscribe. Have a great day.